everybody, Cutting Hydra here. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to be going over the glove of Darth Vader. Now obviously I do have my notes to follow along with because if I didn't, would I really be Cutting Hydra? That's the question. So obviously the book is the glove of Darth Vader. It's by Paul Davis and Hollis Davis. The pencils in here are by Benton Jew. The industrial light and magic finished art, however, is by Carl Kessel. And that I might like to because think about it. The initials would be like KK. It'd be, I don't know. I think it'd be awesome. Maybe I'll put on the paper signing something, put KK. Anyway, um, it's a Bantan Skyler book. It was originally released in July of 1992. It came out in New York, Toronto, London, Sydney, and Auckland. I have no idea where Auckland is, so maybe you can tell me that one. Um, I didn't know if you wanted me to go over the acknowledgements, the acknowledgements. However, if you do, then I will be sure to go over those, or actually, I'll just put them here and you can pause and Read them for a second if you want to. Okay, so anyway. The first couple of pages in the Glove of Darth Vader are going to go over the Empire, at least specifically the characters. Such as Luke, Leia, Mon Mothma, and others important to that specific book. But anyway, before I manage to delay any more, let me carry on. Alright, so, a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, the adventure continues, or in our case, begins. Page 1. Page 1 is where I'll let you know that the Empire rules the galaxy, and though Emperor Palpatine's Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader tried to get rid of anyone that was good, I guess, but they obviously failed, and now we're left with the Rebel Alliance. You guys are going to be making for my double chin, aren't you? Um, anyway, where was I going? But where are two... Our story actually begins, that way I don't have to recap everything, is page 2 at Ginyan, not skipping anything for you. Uh, we get a recap of Han and Luke rescuing Princess Leia and the Death Star being destroyed while well, another was built. And the second Death Star, by the way, is actually my favorite because it was even more powerful than the first one. And that's pretty damn powerful and pretty damn terrifying. If you consider that the first one was actually able to destroy entire planets. Just think about that for a second. Um, we get told that Luke's search for Obi-Wan Kenobi, who would later become Luke's first master. I am skipping a little bit for you, so say thank you. Um, Obi-Wan sends Luke to a great Jedi Master, who is of course Yoda. Well, with Yoda, Luke discovers that Leia is his sister, and his father is actually Darth Vader, who was once a Jedi Knight, who was lured to the dark side by Emperor Palpatine, who, like Darth Vader, was power-hungry and consumed with hatred. Or in Palpatine's sense, I think he really, really, just really did like being evil. You tell me. Um, however, the Jedi Masters learn that, or believe that it is Luke's destiny to battle his father, and so the dark side does not triumph. There would be lightsaber battles between father and son, which would eventually bring Darth Vader to the knowledge that the Emperor had turned him against everything that he had known and loved. 
Darth Vader would then kill the Emperor by throwing him down a shaft that led to the core of the Death Star. Wonderful death. I don't know about you, but I realize there's a lot, a lot of deaths in Star Wars that actually consist of people be, like falling down shafts after getting their hand cut off or their torso cut off or one thing or another. Like, a lot of people fall down shafts. Anywhere was I going? And now with the main two villains gone and their battle stations destroyed, the Imperial Warlords are fighting amongst each other for power, not knowing who will eventually seize control. However, though this squabble continues and just both sides, it's just a mess right now. The Dark Side Prophets know that a new emperor will soon arise and on his left hand he shall wear the glove of Darth Vader. Now, I'd love to cover the first chapter right now, but I'm actually out of time. So I'm going to go ahead and get that one to you either tomorrow or the next day. And that one is a really big promise. It's going to be tomorrow or the next day. Because I already have the notes for that one written out. So I've been doing it all in ahead that way. If I can't read the book for any reason, then I can still get you guys a video out. But, without any further ado, oh, by the way, since I know I didn't post around Christmas and different stuff like that, well, I posted after the video with the pig feet, but I don't know if I said Merry Christmas, so Merry Christmas to you guys, Happy New Year's, Happy Valentine's Day now, even though I don't like Valentine's Day, because I guess I'm just like bah humbug toward all holidays besides maybe Halloween, I love Halloween. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Continue to have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next one.